Uh, call this take two and the, the, the better one. <laughs> okay. Um, greetings, travelers. Welcome to Channel 42. This is In the Cafe. Today we're broadcasting from a very special location. Uh, this is Nirwana's Purple Nine uh, Pavilion. Um, we are <laughs> aptly <laughs> interviewing um, Nirwana, who has graciously built this base and has been our featured member this uh, last week at the uh, Cafe Amino. Um, welcome to the show, Nirwana. Welcome. It's an honor to have you. Welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome to the base <laughs> on Purple Nine. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I know. I the think I've got it all mixed up. And the glitch museum and pavilion, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's you. It's in the yeah, in this. I mean, in the you know, uh, system uh, it, purple nine. Thank you for correcting me. Um, my nervousness always gets my, the better of me right at the very beginning. Um, <laughs> you have to forgive me. I know. <laughs> you have to forgive me. Um, Just so, let it run. That's no problem. Thank you. Um, welcome to the show, obviously. Um, it's a real pleasure to have you. Um, your, your work is tremendous and, and, and brilliant. We've seen so many um, amazing videos that you've, you've uh, put in the um, Cafe Amino um, and... Uh, it, it really needs to be showcased. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where, whereabouts are you from in, on, in the world? Well, uh, I'm uh, from Switzerland. It's uh, in Central Europe. Uh, not Sweden, that's a bit further up. So <laughs> just for people to make sure that they know, yes, I'm in Central Europe. That's very awesome. Nice. We, we get a few travelers um, on the show that have been from that region, and it's always a pleasure because uh, I love to hear the different accents and the dialect, and, um, and, and they tell us about the sights and, and so on. Is, is the weather at least good out there right now? Oh, yes. It's uh, very sunny. I actually hear the, you know, some ringing of the bells outside. Not cows from the church, but I'm close to a church. Yeah. But yes, it's we have uh, very nice weather today today, and uh, the balcony is uh, really warm and have been sitting outside some, yes, you know, during Corona. So, yep. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's no problem being outside so long as, you, you know, you follow the social distancing rules, I guess. Um, Myself, I live in a very populated area, so it's really hard to sit outside unless it's on my own deck. So that's about as far as it gets, um, unless I go to work. So, yeah, it's a little bit different these days. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, people are adapting and uh, trying to make the best of it with their families. Um, hopefully, hopefully your family is doing well and adapting. Uh, yes, well, I did have, uh, you know, somebody died in my family from Corona, but it's not much you can do about it. That's life. And um, yeah, we try to continue and uh, hope that the rest of the family will be fine. It's that's there's nothing we can change. Yes, well, I'm very sorry to hear about that. My uh, my condolences, uh, as well as the cafe and, and everyone. Um, geez, that, that, that's terrible to hear. I'm really sorry. Um, Let's change the subject because that's obviously uh, not something we wanted to talk about, um, and we're very sorry about that. Um, how long have you played No Man's Sky? Well, I have actually started right from the beginning in 2016. Wow. And yes, I I, re I actually liked it. Yes, it was a bit weird. Um, a lot of stuff <laughs> didn't work. But I didn't really, I mean, it was fun and it was already amazing at that time. I thought um, the game was very different. Of course, I mean, I died in the first five minutes, like <laughs> most people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know I did. I, uh, I walked away, you know, from the, uh, how shall I say, I walked away from, from, my, from my plane. I didn't see it. And, uh, you know, you get into panic when your, you know, your, your, your life is running out and you don't know what to do. So, yep, I started again, but uh, I got it the second time and it was, it was quite an amazing journey. And um, I, I, I had pleasure playing it in 2016 for a couple of months. And uh, then I had some friends that told me, oh, well, you know, this is not a multiplayer why don't you come over, you know, we play something else. So I quit actually uh, No Man's Sky after a couple of months uh, and I came back uh, uh, last year, 
uh, in January actually and I was like overwhelmed it was like oh my god what's happening what's going okay everything is broken my weapon was broken my <laughs> ship was broken everything was messed up and I found myself in a new reality and uh, it, it was amazing to find out oh now you can have this and now you can have that and you can build and it uh, I didn't let go since uh, January last year so <laughs> this is actually um, very uh, an amazing game I love it and uh, yeah slowly I got uh, to know everybody that means uh, I got uh, when was that I'm just thinking about that I think it was summer in in May uh -huh. On Reddit, I I didn't I haven't been in May. Yeah, I think it was in May. Uh, on Reddit, I saw something from Er Burrows. He put some some base, and of course, I was really amazed uh, of the building. You know, he, his industrial builds he does. It was like, oh my God, what is that? I love it. And I contacted him and I said, would you be so kind and maybe invite me and tell me how you did that um, you know I, I was really interested and he was such a nice guy he said yes yes please let's arrange this and he invited me and he showed me his amazing base in a it was in a desert uh, I was thinking oh my god that's really cool I wish I could do something like that and he just without me asking he said you know uh, have you tried some glitch building I said no actually what is that so he <laughs> showed me how to glitch build a landing pad and uh, from this point on I was actually hooked I went into glitch building so videos from uh, kibbles and got to know the whole uh, crazy wacky bunch of uh, amazing people <laughs> uh, you know uh, <laughs> JC and uh, uh, you know action pants gaming Kevin yeah uh, everybody else you know and slowly one by one I got to know more people and uh, this is how my journey started in glitch building that's well, you know what I'm uh, gee whiz uh, where the heck have you been uh, you started back in 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 the, the early days um uh, that's that's years ago and you've been playing for so long and and it's only recently that you found all these players um uh, you know the community is just just amazes me every time of you know in all these different walks and different players out there that uh you know everybody seems to have a great story on how they met uh different part of the community um, and has brought so many people together. Um, the PBF is, is one of the communities that um, you and, and six others have, have um, been working on and have started. It's one of the most popular and um, definitely uh, most knowledgeable of the game and, and is designed for one thing and that's base building. Um, Obviously, that's that's one of the loves and the passions that you show in the game for yourself. Do you want, do you want to tell us a little bit about the PBF? Well, the PBF uh, is uh, uh, a group that, like you said, uh, concerns uh, building. Uh, we have a Discord server and everybody's invited to join us if they have a love uh, for building. We are actually a group, we, we share our experiences, we are here for everybody. We show them um, you know, how things are done, what they can learn and we, we continue uh, sharing this passion in such a way that we, we pass on our knowledge to new people and uh, it's, it's something you, I don't know, um, you know, how do you transfer passion? I think uh, like Kevin would be the master of that with his streams. I think everybody loves his streams. I miss Kibble's streams, I must say so. That was very funny. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are passing on our knowledge um, to other people. And this is the whole point. We are having fun. We teach. We help. And uh, this is uh, the PBF. So... 
That's the best part in of the game. In very simple turn, actually said. So yes. Yes, it it that's the greatest part of the game is is to me is the community and the things that we we do with each other, um, by passing on that knowledge and and everyone's so friendly. Uh, if if anyone's never been there, you really should check it out. The PVF Discord is is fantastic, um, and and all the people there are just awesome um everybody i absolutely, meet is like a new friend absolutely. it really is i know it's like it's like the cafe in a different place um only with base building that's the focus and you guys are just awesome um let's talk a little bit more about you and and, and your bases and what you do um you you as well as as build bases but you also promote them on on youtube as well um and it's a great platform um and the youtube videos that i watch from 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 you are, are somewhat different and unique. Um, they're more than the average uh, walkthrough of a base. Um, it, it's it's a piece of art, honestly. What you you must have experience uh, with YouTube or with video editing in the past. You put together uh, really amazing videos. Can can you tell us a little bit about your YouTube and, and history with YouTube? Uh, right. Actually, I had uh, zero knowledge about all of that. Are you I kidding? Be, <laughs> I guess <laughs> I had. You should watch, I think, one of the first videos I put on. Um, what was that? I think uh, building like also I, I think a lit, I built like a little cof uh, coffee place and that editing is terrible. You know, it's like magic. Oops, and now the carpet is here and <laughs> this is there. Mm -hmm. I had no no idea about editing and it looked... I, I left it there because it reminds me um, of how I have evolved, if you want to say so, with editing. I am just um, making, uh, asking friends, please, you know, um, for the footage, help me so that, you know, you get the moving pictures. I take this uh, on PS4. I am on on a normal PS4, and I do the video. I like with Telepath. I'm sure it's going to rem remember that. Oh, please make another take. You know, fly by action. <laughs> 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 so yes, I I order uh, people a li little bit around till I have what I need, and always take more material than I actually really need but it's um, it's important that you have enough video material then I transfer it to a U U USB stick onto my iPad I do actually the whole editing on my iPad on iMovie and this is um, a really a very good um, way to do it it's easy it's um, has a lot of possibilities and I'm happy with it. And the more you are getting used to making videos, um, I think, you know, the better you get. It's with everything else. The more you do something, the better you get. And I'm looking for nice music and what I'm trying very hard is timing. I think timing between the pictures between the music and the materials you have is very important. So maybe this is something I try to, you know, get this pinpoint on with the music when airplanes pass or something like that. And I weave this into my videos. But no, I had no um, prior knowledge She's to video making, editing. I just learned it on the go. You do an exceptional job, uh, and, and you speak of timing, it's well synced up. Uh, the music uh, goes well with, with the, the video, the movements, the cuts, uh, and, and um, it really is amazing. I, you know, to be honest with you, when I first saw you, it was only recently, this last, uh, just before uh, Christmas, um, uh, when we were uh, going through different YouTubers and looking at, at people we haven't seen before, um, and, and one of your videos came up and I was blown away. I, I had thought you'd had experience um, in video editing, videography in the past. Um, you, you do remarkable, remarkable work with your video work. Um, and, and it's not just that, but you've got such a beautiful canvas to show. Your, your bases, um, again, unique and amazing. They're, they're actually beautiful works of art. They're like sculptures to me when I see them. Um, 
it, it was almost hard for me to, to decide what to do, whether we should have uh, an interview at, at this amazing base or one of your other amazing bases. Um, this one here is, is one of the bases you made for the cafe, and we're so proud of it, um, and we love to showcase it. Um, all the things that you've done in here are just simply amazing and, and beautiful. Um, fine detail work in your decor and, and how it's laid out and shaped. Um, Thank you very us. much for that. <laughs> oh, it, it really is beautiful. Um, and all as is all of your stuff, it, you know, it was hard to put them, put them all in the feature itself. Um, I, I was going through some of your work on your YouTube channel and the, the just base after base after base is just incredible. And you almost want to feature them all, but it, it takes away from the actual thing. So I, I had to slim it down and cut it to about five <laughs> videos that I put in there. Um, and uh, it, it, they're all really gorgeous. How, how do you how do you do that? Like, I, I know it's glitch building, but you have an eye for that that type of beauty and that architecture. Can you describe like what? How do you do that, or what goes through your mind when you're building these these amazing? Well, first of all, I mean it's very important uh, to notice that everything you see, everything. Um, you know all the details everything i mean i had to learn somewhere and i learned from kevin i learned from er with all the other friends you know ap uh from boyd from you know it's it's the whole group we are sharing but each of us has a different view on things we're using we're using all the same toys <laughs> if i want to say so uh, but we are all using it our own way. We all have our own, uh, uh, you know, ideas that we bring to life. But yes, even this space, you know, the beautiful floor, it's something that uh, Kevin showed me and I just, you know, let it extend uh, in this space, in this beautiful base. Uh, but yes, I mean, I, how do I do that? Good question. Um, Sometimes I have an idea in my head uh, about a build, something I want to build. And then I'm looking for a location that would fit the idea. But mostly I just, you know, I just jump from, from a system to system. I go check the planets and I have a look around um, till I see something that speaks to me something that tells me oh oh yeah this would be great you know it's like an overhang or like this place um this looks like uh, wine uh props you know like like somebody opened uh, many bottles of wine <laughs> and it has been flying all over and i have been sitting on several places here and checked how it looks like the view and here it was the view it's like perfect somewhere between like sea, the ocean, and inland waterways. And then you have those little hills, and it was just perfect. And I knew, um, I had an idea what I wanted to do for the cafe. Uh, something beautiful and some kind and a place for you to do interviews also. I knew you have the other place, you know, which with the cityscape, which I liked a lot. That looked really awesome. But I was thinking, yeah, maybe they would Thank like you. to have like something outside <laughs> that is different from what they have. And let's try and make it as beautiful as possible. So this is how it works. Um, let's say um, for the Hatak, I did build the mothership of the Goa'uld from Stargate. This um, I had to look on the Internet how exactly that looks, you know, with models and everything. Uh, to build it. I wanted to build a starship. Um, everybody builds or did build uh, the Enterprise and I told myself, well, it would be nice to build an Enterprise and then I told myself, well, actually not because we have a whole fleet of Enterprises already and I told myself, well, build something else. So I checked on the internet uh, for this build for the Hatak, the mothership of uh, the Goa'uld from Apophis and I loved it. The pyramid and it is encased, it has like a case around it. 
So it took me a while to fiddle around till I found the perfect encasing for the pyramid, but I think it worked uh, where I placed it. And it looks, it looks good and it's not the enterprise. Um, this is when I have an idea what I want to build. Uh, another time that was very interesting, actually just before Beyond Hit, I went to check out the planet. It looked very nice. Mm, I told myself, okay, have a look around. And I told myself, just land somewhere. And I needed to, I wanted to scan some animals in the water. So I just landed anywhere, not specific, jumped in. And I was swimming around. And to my big surprise, I saw this huge underwater cave, really big. I told myself, oh my God, this is the biggest <laughs> underwater cave I have ever seen. I need to build something. And remember, this was before Beyond dropped. So there was no build camera. You had to build the normal way. So it took me 53 hours around to oh build that goodness. underwater base. <laughs> 53 <laughs> hours. And I was just, you know, a rookie in glitch building. I really started there um, putting stuff in uh, from glitch building. I almost went crazy because I couldn't figure out certain things. And underwater, you know how difficult it is. Oh. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> I asked ER and I said, you know, how can I do this? You know, I have a problem here. How did, how, you know, and I was really surprised. Actually, JC, he joined my game and he said, you know, I mean, you could do it like this. You know, he gave me an idea how I can achieve what I wanted to do. He was so nice and it gave me really fire. So I, f I, I, I built there for 53 hours. Whew. You know, wow. yep. it, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's some of the builds it's underwater base. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. this is how it happens. You know, it's sometimes by chance that I fly around and find an amazing place. And then I built, you know, you get like this, um, uh, this idea suddenly it, it needs to hit me or like a Captain Steve uh, built. He's such a great streamer. I really uh, love him. It's like, you know, it like with Sword and Mary Lizzie and KJ. These people are really awesome. Like, you know, like he would say, awesome sauce. <laughs> and um, he said, oh, come over and build something. I was tell my, told myself, OK, now, first of all, how many people are there already? And you know, the PBF is actually known for, um, we like to br break planets. No, 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 Siri, I don't need that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the builds so, are so amazing. Uh, the complexity level, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's remarkable. The complexity. This is, this is sometimes important because PBF people, we just love to break planets. And... <laughs> <laughs> if you go and build in a hub, um, actually, you have to be a bit careful, or at least I am. Um, I have been thinking, okay, there are more people on. If I'm going to build something very big, like with 3,000 pieces, I remember the total you have is 20,000, and per base you have a maximum limit of 3,000. Right. So I told myself, if I build something big, um, it's going to be problem for everybody else. So I told myself, what do I build? Something simple. And then, um, you know, the light changed um, on this empty planet and it was all pink. And I was reading stuff just beforehand about Corona and, you know, how people are home. So I found this subject. You know, I wanted to build something expressing love. How do you express love in a build? This is quite difficult. And then I remembered how, wait a minute, there is actually, you know, love in, in chemical terms. So I built it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes you need to get hit by inspiration. And uh, this is how I build. Yes. Yeah, your bases are extremely in inspirational. Um, 
you yourself uh, a while back um, inspired me a little um, little story here, uh, side story here. Uh, you came to my base. Uh, wasn't long before the uh, living ship update, and uh, we chatted for a few minutes. Um, and uh, um, you, you graciously gave me a gift and and taught me uh, how. Uh, to do the the basic uh, glitch build um, using some of the wires and lights um, and that's something that I've, I've slowly been trying to practice myself not nearly as as good and artistic as some of the work you've done but uh, the uh, the magic has, has sort of been born and inspired within myself and so many others as well who, who have uh, been in your presence um, gosh uh, I, I, so what did you make, if I may ask? So uh, well, it's very you... simple and small to start. Um, I've I've made a, a radar dish of sorts. Um, I've uh -huh. taken yeah. So I've taken uh, the uh, was it the underwater doors, um, and and created a circle with those. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, and uh, hopefully uh, at some point uh, on one of my creative uh, shows with uh, one of my interviews, you'll be able to see that. Um, that's uh, the radar dish that I'll be featuring in the uh, creative studio that I've made for these interviews. So that'll be fun. Um, you have to do that. And I will go and see. I did see Lily's space, but it has been a while ago. I have been busy with other things. I have not returned to this space for a while. Um, I it's went hard to when see you're busy. last time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure I understand. That's, that was the point. That was the point is that you were using it here and I have been busy somewhere else. But this was the point that you can use this space. I mean, this is why I built it. But yes, I'm interested. I will go and check up uh, uh, on your base later uh, what you did. And I want to see what you did. So it's going to be nice seeing that if you made progress since our last meeting, because that's the point, right? I show you something and you develop something. This is what we do at PBF, you know, guys. Um, we That's love right. just to build and we love to see other people being inspired and building and having fun, uh, creating their dreams. And you, oh, by the way, thank you, uh, DG, for the title you gave me. <laughs> oh, it's my uh, pleasure. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what? And uh, thank you very much for the title. I really appreciate that. And, um, well, I mean, we like to help. And if you need help or anybody else, write me, you know, send me a note. I'll, I'll try to accommodate you. I'll be there. I'll show you what is the factor curve or what is the Ologos curve. How can you use it? It's, it's amazing. And once you get into it, maybe you start really uh, exploring this inner fire and wanting to build something that, uh, you know, you really would like to have. That's something right. Special. It, it takes that inspiration. And when you, when you see something you want to build and realize that there is a way, you just have to learn it. Um, it can be done. And that, that's, that, that's that amazing part about base building. And what you guys um, over the PBF have, have done is you've made it interesting and fun. And you guys are able to teach people on a really fun level. Um, both with videos, tutorials, just hanging out, uh, or, or even chatting. Mm, yes, people has a uh, lots of uh, tutorials. I, I have a few, but not many, I must say so, because I'm, I'm really <laughs> into more building. And I don't stream, maybe not yet, maybe later, who knows. Maybe I stream, um, but sometimes I go uh, uh, into, um, uh, you know, uh, Kevin's uh, stream or I visit people's stream. We have fun. We just had like uh, with everybody else, ERs and telepath, and we had like a big fight, you know, with the mech and those big walkers. So it was <laughs> messy. And, uh, you know, we went there was like hell and uh, it, you know, I mean, ER always builds on these uh, crazy planets that try to kill you. I mean, if you go there, if you visit ER's base, make sure uh, that you have <laughs> your gear updated and you're <laughs> safe, guys, because he always builds in an impossible uh, place. But beautiful, amazing bases, and uh, we had fun there. I didn't see anything of the base because <laughs> we had bad weather, sentinels that attacked, the walkers, then uh, the mech you know you're running around and then people course. got attacked in space <clears throat> and we had fun actually you know so yeah yeah the game of distraction right um so many things distract me <laughs> i'll start y one yes. thing uh, and then get distracted 
I can remember yes. one time I started building something and a, an animal just happened across my base. So I scanned them and, and I realized, oh, there's, there's like eight and then another one, uh, eight, eight animals on this planet. And then another one came by and I scanned it. And next thing I knew, I had like four scan and, and I forgot about base building and just started running off <laughs> <laughs> scanning animals until I found them and oh, came back and realized I hadn't guy. saved. Yeah. You know well. how that works. You know, it would be <laughs> decent. You get, you know, it's, you end up somewhere else, but yes, once I start building, I get into this flow. I, it's hard to describe. It's like, I just shut out everything else and I just, I just built, I just let it flow. I, I, when I have something in my head, I just need to continue and then I'm trying out variations. And I mean, guys, I think many people don't understand how much work actually is in a base because you have to build sometimes, you know, uh, a scaffolding that takes yes. a lot of time. Yeah. It's a lot of preparation, uh, mise en place, which I would like to call, I think everybody heard that in kitchen terms, <laughs> <laughs> mise en place, yes, you have to prepare your work yep. and you have to have an idea what you built and once I'm in this flow, I just, I don't see anything else, it's just, I just like to be in this flow and it's so satisfying. Um, building at that point but so yes I understand I understand uh, what you uh, what you wanted to say with um, you know getting distracted it's <laughs> it's terrible but yeah once I'm in it I I don't see anything else after that yeah it's you know it's it's extremely artistic and beautiful um, they're like sculptures or, or they looking at a flower up close uh, sometimes you know if I were to, to pan the camera back and and, and look just look around there's there's beauty everywhere like even if i look up at the ceiling there's beauty everywhere in the lines uh, and the circles and the triangles and all those shapes that you've created in this room just this one room alone um is amazing and, and the time it, it took to build this uh well for me I'm, I'm thinking somewhere in the 100 hour range um that's a lot of stuff and, and a lot of um, frustration of getting them things just right um, I mean, oh, this didn't you, take you're a master of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> You've done just a masterful job. You really have. It's just gorgeous. I admire it every time I'm here. A charmer. <laughs> uh, well, you know the truth. The truth is the truth. And this place is, is really one of the most amazing places. Um, as, as so many of your other builds, um, like I said, I really had a tough time deciding whether or not I should go to one of your other bases and, 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 and help feature some of that or, or bring you here where you're, you, you brought this to us and, and uh, had given this to us to uh, use um, for, for whatever DJ, we use. This is, this is an interview, remember, and this is the place for interviews. That's fine, you know. I mean, if people <laughs> are interested in my builds, I do have a channel. Please visit, have fun. Uh, look through all those builds and maybe you find something that you're interested in and if you have questions I'm there to to help you guys that's absolutely for sure but this is the interview place you know I mean it's it's here for that and I'm happy you invited me here um, and that you are pleased uh, you know for for what I built for you that's oh. that's more my most important point oh we're not all I'm not only pleased I'm I'm my jaw had dropped it when you presented it to us. Um, it's just an amazing thing. Um, the people of this community, of all the communities, are just some of the most amazing people around. Um, it uh, it blows my mind that uh, we we find each other through internet <laughs> and a video game. Absolutely, um, yes, all across crazy. The I mean, world. you're part of this, and Lily, look, great people. I mean, you know. Um, you're part of this DG yeah. with Lily, uh, with Unity One. This is uh, an amazing project and I'm very happy uh, to got invited by you. Thank you once more oh, to you're be more part than of this project. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a builder. I just like to have fun and my builds are mostly in red. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> my signature color. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what? You make it work. They're they're all beautiful. They're amazing. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one because it, it just blows my mind every time I see one of your works of art uh, come out. 
um, all unique, original, and and straight from your own inspiration. It uh, it inspires many, many, many people, um, even us non-builders who who are starting to learn to build as well. Um, so, for for the interest of time, I guess we'll move on a little bit. Um, did, what um, what what keeps you coming back to this game? Like, obviously, you love base building, but there's there's something that keeps keeps you inspired over over the years of this video game is it is it the improvements of the game or is there something else it's a bit a little bit of everything um of course improvements is fun or it's not fun like just after beyond when for us builders everything most stuff was broken nothing worked properly collisions was like horrible I still hear um, Kevin um, almost crying. <laughs> he was really in, in, in distress. Um, but what brings me back is um, a, um, it's amazing to travel, to explore, to, um, to see this, this even after, I mean, I have, I have a few, I mean, like what, uh, over 2,000 or 3,000 hours in this game. And I still find new stuff. I love it. I love to explore. I love to see, find new places for my builds because that's what we are doing also. We, we don't just build. We need to find a place to build. And it's exploring. Uh, you go through many systems, finding the perfect spot, looking at this, looking at that. And it's amazing. Uh, and what makes me come back is also the people I, you know, like like you, like... Uh, you know, like Lily, uh, amazing people in this in this game, and and everybody, like you said yourself, everybody is really nice, open, and uh, doesn't matter from where they are from this globe. You know, from Australia, from the States, from Germany, from everywhere. It's it's um, it's really amazing. Uh, you know, sort. I like to watch sort. Um, you know, KJ. Uh, people are just uh, really amazing in this game, and this is so nice. You know, sometimes you can run into a griefer. That's that's possible. Um, well, sure, that happens once in a while. Yes, but the, that they happens, usually go but away. <laughs> they usually they do go away. Yes, but I mean. To 99%, I would say that people are really awesome in this game. I have not met a game with such a strong community, um, closely knit, and uh, everybody uh, is very friendly. And I mean, updates, yes, I love it once they start <laughs> working. I love it. Um, I was like, I told you, I came back last year. I was like, oh my God, you can have six spaceships now? Yep. You can have freighter, uh, 30 frigates, you can have uh, uh, vehicles, we got the mech, I mean, it's a bit everything. And, uh, you know, like, look, uh, some time ago, you and me, we would not have been sitting here. We would not have been able to see each other. Uh, I mean, apart from a ball, you know, a ball of light <laughs> before, remember? Yes, and we the have orbs. updates, yeah. the orbs, right? And now we can see each other. I mean, this is this is crazy. And I think we are getting, um, you know, uh, a lot of stuff. And this is this is this is amazing how how far this game actually, if you think about it, since 2016, oh, how far this way. game has come. It has, it has. It's come a Absolutely. long way. So a many long, things they've added. Way. Yeah, some so good, many some things. not. But they've all they've all been part of the game that work well, you know. Once they've got the bugs worked out, um, it just give them a little bit of time to get those new things figured out, and, and it'll all start what to work. Didn't, what didn't you like, if I may ask? What didn't I like? Yep. Oh, um, hmm. I think the freighters are, are falling behind. I think they need to work on the freighters and bring them more to the forefront of the game. Uh, more of them would be would be good. There's only two capital freighters that are available in style. That is, um, mm. I'd like to be able to board other people's freighters and do things on other people's freighters like you can in the on a base. Um, 
you know, things like that. I think that would be good uh, to be able to use freighters in a little bit more way, uh, interactive. Mm. Um, I'd like to see... I would like to have windows, windows on oh. the freighters. How oh. about that? Yes, the number oh. one freighter improvement, windows. We want to be able to w build windows. Sean, if you're listening, please, please bring us windows on our freighters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. We, we would like to have windows. This, this would be so awesome. Like on the space stations, you have windows. I mean... Come on. That's right. I mean, we need them. They're, yeah, it's part of the game. Yep. It, it's got to be in there. Yep. Um, Windows would be yeah. cool. Building has Absolutely. gotten better on, on the freighter, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely like to see windows, and i like to see different styles available, or at least improve the slots that you can have on the smaller freighters so that you can have a more wider variety of freighter you know, uh, styles out there. Um because if you wanna, if you want something different, you gotta go with something that doesn't have many slots, and then you're kind of putting yourself mm -hmm. behind. Yeah, so. I think you're going to get that on the smaller freighters. I think you, you know, like with the living ship and like with the uh, with the slot expansions for the other ships. I think I think you're going to get that. I have a really feeling that they will uh, release that so you can expand and you can get any freighter that really uh, you like. You know, it's not like the smaller ones. It's that you can upgrade them. I'd I like think, to see something like that. I think like this that. will be, yep. I, yep. Think it, I think they will come up with that. Yeah, and windows. Yep. Let's see those windows. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> yes, it certainly would. Um, oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, I guess b before we run out of time and, and have to cut short uh, any of the uh, material we've recorded today, um, I'm just going to ask you our, our last question. Um, this is the one that everybody knows, uh, and I asked it to everybody. Um, do you have the answers to life, the universe, and everything in between? Who really does? I mean, <laughs> it's actually three questions uh, that you are asking. I mean, meaning of life. Mm, maybe, mm, I don't know, live long and prosper. <laughs> That's Isn't not that bad. The idea? That to is live the idea. Your life, yeah. To live your life, to be born, to live your life, uh, to bring happiness to others, um, to have a family sooner or later, or not. That depends. But to live your life. I think uh, live long and prosper would actually um, fit that. You that know? is very suiting. Yes. I'm going to write that down. Um, <laughs> I don't believe, I've got my list here, I don't believe anyone has said that one yet. So that's oh. good. Yes. Okay. I've got Nobody a, I've, said that yet? I've got a running total of, of different ones. And yes, no, that one hasn't been said yet. Um, there, yeah, there's I a few that are good. I know bacon came up. <laughs> yes, bacon's a bacon. good one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we've, mon dieu. <laughs> oh, well, so here. Uh, they, uh, you know bacon that was uh, that's kind of cute but the uh, meaning of life I think yeah live long and prosper and for the rest I mean humanity I hope that uh, you know we are going to get a common goal you know freedom for the people and uh, being able to live with each other you know all that we are all getting onto the same level and that we we are going to um you know abolish war and all that stuff you know that would yeah. be nice i think people are starting to get uh, learn to be a little bit closer um and understanding in in these times with you know all, all that's going <laughs> yeah. on and yeah um, to so. to come together as one in a, in 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 a way you know yeah or it's like monty piton you know what was that 1988 he said like you know always look on the bright side of life that's right. You know. <laughs> I <laughs> love Monty Python. Song? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We should we should end this. I, you know what? I'm gonna have to pull that up uh, and end uh, the interview with that song. The song. Uh, on the if weekend. If you find the song, let it run. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna find that song and see if I can uh, let that run. That's perfect for ending the interview. <laughs> thank you so much, Nirwana. Um, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for for the cafe, the community. Um, for myself and, and, and us in general. Um, everything you do just seems to be magic and beautiful um, and in your builds and everything. Um, it's just uh, mind blowing how you come up with the inspiration to do these things and you just keep putting them out there. Um, there's just so much, so much. Um, for those of you, I, I highly recommend peruse through her YouTube channel and watch some of those old videos. Her bases are gorgeous. Um, and uh, the, the, the work and the time and the effort um, that she's put into them is it truly shows and the videos are top-notch um, 
I can't mm, say enough about you. them. They really are. <laughs> you, you you find perfect music, and, and it's timed and synced up very well with the movements of the camera. Um, it's very impressive, and uh, you, oh, you make a perfect. very good impression. I think I'm far from perfect, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying really hard that people have fun watching the videos and... You know, I mean, that's the whole point, uh, you know, to have fun together. And uh, I think this is one of the the most important things we can have uh, in, I mean, it's game. It's a game, right? Why don't we play it? It's a game. That's we want right. to have fun, right? Relaxation, fun, and, you know, please, yeah. uh, yes, watch uh, the videos if you like them or if you look for tutorials. I mean, and the PBF, we're here for you guys. So, yes, come and look uh, uh, for us, and we're here to help. And DG, Lily, everybody else, you know, if you need help with something, I'll try to, you know, to, to fit you in in my schedule and uh, to help you with whatever it is. And likewise, likewise, uh, you guys are just fantastic over there, the PBF. Um, and uh, you yourself are just one of the most amazing people um, that we've we've ever had the pleasure of meeting and I look forward to many many great times hanging out building and just just enjoying the game with good friends and family um, because that that's really what you guys have, have become to us in a very short amount of time um, and it's uh, it's a real pleasure to know you and to share with everybody else just who Nirwana is and uh, what what she likes to do in the game Thank you so much, Nirwana. I really appreciate your time Thank today. Thank you for, for being invited. I really feel honored. I was surprised being featured. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, I mean, we are on this uh, journey together, guys. That's thank right. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. And um, we hope to uh, uh, see, uh, see you all.